Welcome back to Einstein's Mechanics. In this episode, we are going to solve an engineering problem. So pay attention and let's go through the problem together. Example one. So cable AC Z on beam AB a force T. So we have a cable A c and it exerts a force p on this beam this a b along the line ac so the p force is also along the line ac this force p are you okay knowing that p must have a 350 newton vertical component determine the magnitude of the force p and the B part says its horizontal component. This is a very simple question that we can go through. Looking at this diagram, this is a rope AC, and inside this rope there is a tension, which means there is a force, and this force we call it force P, and it is also acting along the same line AC. Now, since this force P is an inclined force, looking at this, it has an angle with the horizontal. So let's assume this is the X axis. This force P is inclined, meaning it is going to have a vertical component and a horizontal component. And from the question, we are told that knowing that P must have a 350 vertical component, so P has a Y, P has X, and its Y component is 350 newtons. So now we are to determine the magnitude of P. What is the original force P? And also we must determine the horizontal component. So straight away we can draw our free body diagram and make some analysis. Are we okay? So let's try our hands on this. So looking at this, this force, nothing was said on this force and it has no magnitude given. So now we can forget about it because our aim is to determine the force in this cable. Are you okay? So now we can do this analysis for the free body diagram. Let's assume this beam this way. This is the beam. And the rope is going this way. And it is inclined to the vertical at an angle. So this is the vertical. This angle is there as 55 degree. Are we okay? So the force P exist here and we can resolve this force into vertical component and the vertical component let's call it py this is the beam alongside the x axis we can also call the horizontal component of this inclined force as px are we okay so based on this angle can we Make something like this so that we can say that this angle is going to be what 35 here and from this angle tenet angle this is going to be 35 degrees here are we okay all right so now we have the body diagram that's the free body diagram and we know how this force is inclined to the x axis so we can now begin to resolve the force are we okay we did not pay attention to the hinge over here or there because we don't have any dimension to take moment about a point. Our focus was to resolve and find the force P, just the force P and its horizontal component. So this is more or less like resolution of forces. So we are only going to consider the single force and the axis it makes. Are we good? All right. So from here, we have our PY 
giving us 350 newton are we good so if a force is inclined such way if we are going to resolve it to the horizontal and to the vertical with the axis it makes with the horizontal can we say that the py component that the vertical component is going to be the force p sine theta and as our equation one and the px which is the horizontal component is going to be the force p cos theta are we okay here our theta is the angle the force makes with the x axis and this is 35 degree this is our equation two so since we have the magnitude for the force py as 350 we can say from equation one we can write 350 equals p sine what's the angle 35 degrees are we okay here we can make p the subject where our p is going to be 350 on sine 35 and when you punch this your p is going to give you 610.21 newton so the a part the magnitude of the force p from the vertical component we can get the magnitude therefore a p is equal to 610.2 newton let's consider the b part its horizontal component from equation two can we get the horizontal component we know that our horizontal component px is equal to p cos theta and now we know the value for p 610.2 cos angle theta which is 35 degrees and when you punch this your px is going to be 499.8 newtons approximately 500 newtons are we okay so meaning the b part which is the horizontal component the horizontal component px is 499.8 newton and with this you are done with the question thank you for watching this episode kindly subscribe to the channel like our videos and drop your comments thank you